Before I start my video, please tell me which character you're planning to get out of the five star ascendable choice crate. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned for the video, but the second you see what it is, please tell me which character you're going for in the comments. Thank you very much, and here's the video. Hello survivors, and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Scopely's response to the two major issues that happened over the weekend. We of course had some login issues for a lot of players, causing CRW to be changed from a qualifier CRW for the 1A regions for War of Champions because there was factions with people who couldn't log in. And then we obviously had the Hell Tokens gate near the end of the weekend where people got up to 999 pulls on the Hell Token wheel. This is an official response and there is compensation included, so we're going to get through it. And as it says, 23.0 launch and Hell Token offer issues. Hello, over the weekend, Road to Survival experienced two issues that you or members of your faction may have been impacted by. The two issues that some players encountered were the following 23.0.0 update lockout. Our initial update caused a few players, especially on iOS, to be locked out of the game after updating. We understand that this was not only an issue for those locked out, but also for their faction teammates as it was a war weekend. As of today, this issue should be resolved with the latest version update 23.0.5. So if you were having issues before, make sure you check your updates and you should be able to get into the game. Erinus Hell Token Offer. An Erinus offer went live that contained 8,000 Hell Token collectibles when it was intended to contain 8,000 Hell Tokens for use in the wheel. Some players were able to purchase this offer and subsequently pull more times than intended on the Hell Wheel. It goes on to say, each day we strive to offer an enjoyable experience for all players, so we take these disruptions very seriously. Due to the issues above, we'll be providing all players with the following. 25 gold bricks, I assume this is based on the fact that you missed out on gold bricks for your daily logins or your daily roadmaps. 300 torches, and this is going to be again for milestones, and the following choice boxes. Now there are a lot of choice boxes here, but we will go through them. And the first choice box is going to be an S-Class collectible choice box with Pete, Lao Po, Heng Yen, Guo, Deyu, Mercer, Priya, Raulito, Arav, Wangfa, and Princess in it. You get six of these, and that's going to be 50 cards in each, so that's going to be a total of 300 collection cards. Not a huge amount, but this is going to be mainly compensating, I guess, for the fact that some people missed out on their war rewards, that sort of thing. The next crates are going to be compensation geared more towards people who missed out on the Hell Token pulls. And it's going to be a five star ascendable box with all of the ascendable five stars that are in that wheel. It's going to be Dorian, Mia, Ty, Sheldon, Alpha, Harper, Raven, L, and Dr. Stevens. You get one of these crates and you can choose one of these characters. Next up, we have the energy box where you can choose one of these refills World, Raid, War, Savoir Road, Territory, and I guess a typo with another war energy here. You get 10 of these. The next gear box, you get a canteen or GPS. You get two of these. Next gear box, you get whetstone, double holster, hockey mask, magazine bandolier. You get five of these boxes. Next up is the hand crank radio or military watch. Again, you get five of these. Next gear box is the weapon tripod, sports gauntlet, practice dummy, and knife sheet. These are the top tier items. Again, you get 10 of these. And then it goes down to the lower tiers. Army walkie talkie school bag, that same tier with the lower end gear, then wool beanie and flak jacket, and then that same tier with the lower end gear, and then it goes to the much lower end gear where it comes to her like hiking boots, ammo belt, compass, leather gloves, and then safety helmets, down vest, and bloody jackets, waist pack. You get up to 30 of some of these, but they are very low tier, so it's not gonna make a big difference to most players, but newer players are gonna have a big, big field day with this because it's gonna be very, very nice to get a lot of gear, even the lower end stuff. It finishes up by saying we also realized that some survivors club members were locked out of the game and unable to claim the survivors club rewards that said in addition to the above all survivors club members will receive an additional free offer containing the following 10 comic books and 20 gold bricks expect to receive a free offer in the shop containing these items within the next 24 hours in addition to this we will be providing any player who purchased the erinus hell token offer with the correct 8,000 hell tokens via another free offer we once again wish to apologize for any inconvenience these issues have caused and thank you for your patience throughout so i'm going to go over my recommendations for the s class collectible choice box the five star ascendable box and the energy refill box for the s class collectible box i would go for obviously who you are focusing already Hopefully that is going to be either Priya, Princess or Mercer unless you have these characters already. Those are probably the most influential characters that you can get out of this crate and the daily crates right now. You definitely want to try and get those characters if you can. Those are very strong characters and they work very well together as well. Next up is the 5 star ascendable box and this should be quite an easy pick for a lot of people. If you do not have Dr. Stevens, 
pick Dr. Stevens. If you have one Dr. Stevens, pick Dr. Stevens because two Dr. Stevens is going to be very good because right now there are two different leaders where you need different resists based on that leader. For instance, there's going to be Mercer who you need stun resist against and there's going to be Jackie who you need confuse resist against. Having two Dr. Stevens will be very important for you. If you have two Dr. Stevens, you may want to go for a third just in case they release another character down the line that for instance does like impair for one turn for the first turn. I'd say after two, it's generally up to you. The only people who would probably want to go for something else are not hugely active players. You can get a telltale character from this collection box for instance dorian is the only telltale character and i know there are some people out there who all they care about is getting telltale characters so they may pick up that character over dr stevens however dr stevens will make your gameplay much easier so if you do plan to play and try and go for telltale characters that come out in the future potentially dr stevens will make those events easier for you as well so, so it might be worth just getting dr stevens even if you are a collector and lastly we have the energy refill box and i'd say this is a pretty easy pick here and you should definitely go for survival road energy Energy refills they're the hardest energy to come by and they're definitely one of the more usable ones of all red energy is really hard to come by there's no real depot with them in you can't actually farm them at all there's no way to actually consistently get them and you're getting 10 here so survival road energy cans i would say is definitely the way to go so overall i will say this compensation is probably the best compensation we've ever had in road to survival it was quite a big mess up though obviously it was two things combined here but I think, especially with the health token situation, there was a much easier way to actually fix this issue and it probably wouldn't have had anyone complaining about it at all. It would have been zero potential for complaints. However, it isn't gonna be the way it's gonna go. I was talking about on my live stream and I think the best thing they could have done was reintroduce the museum collection that they already removed. So obviously if you'd already completed it and there were 999 out of 999, you still would be. So it wouldn't refresh it. It would just reintroduce the old one. If you were partly completed you'd be able to finish it based on the offer that you bought and then obviously re-release that offer for 24 hours i think that would have been a better way to go and allow people the chance to actually just buy that offer it would have been a better way of owning the mistake simply put scopely would have made money out of this situation but players would have been happy at the same time right now i think there are some people who are going to be annoyed that they're not going to get a second dylan and dylan is going to be a priority for a lot of people especially with this event ongoing the majority of people who bought that offer came out of multiple dylans and dylan's not any problem at all there so that is the big miss from this compensation is that second dylan but the majority of people unless you've already got two dr stevens will be fairly happy with this compensation i guess there is quite a lot of gear you get some s-class collectibles some energy refills and uh, like i said that choice of character with the potential dot stevens in there for you if you want it but do tell me your thoughts on this compensation what characters are you going to be going for in the s-class collectible box the five star ascendable box and obviously the refill box as well isn't always interesting to know what you guys are going for is this compensation good enough guys what do you think do let me know in the comments thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving